Hi everyone, George here again, and we last left off with our implementation, or I should say expansion of our usable system. So let's go ahead into um, use, actually no, we wanted to mess with our usable translate. And we had added not just the ability to use something, but the ability to start using it, staying using it, and of course ending that using. Now what we care about is actually the persistence of using, which is use stay. And that's where we're going to implement our method over here, which we had talked about before, which is going to end up taking the device's um, location as well as a forward vector for the object we've clicked on, and then determining how far away we should pull it. And let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna, that's in late update, actually. So maybe instead of in late update, we should be creating a separate method for this. And let's just call this... Um, void handle handle translate how about that that sounds good enough and we'll take this code now and put it in there now I might need to move this back into late update and just use a boolean value it really depends on how uh, unity handles what I'm about to do so let's do not start stay there we go handle translate there we are we're going to go ahead and get rid of these ones now we're good to go there, but we added these methods, but we've got no way of these methods actually working properly, if I remember correctly. So let's go into the controllers themselves. So here's Vive controller left, and we're only updating the left one right now. We're going to need to do everything that we do here to the right one. So scrolling down, we have a usable object. Here's on use and it's on use start. Then we have an on trigger enter, on trigger exit. What we need to do though is handle the case of the user pressing down on the trigger at different times. So here's on button down left trigger plus equals use. Do I have a vive dot input? Whoops. Vive input dot get instance dot on button left trigger yes I do plus equals on use what do we want this on use um, stay and then we should do another one so on use start on use stay so let's change that method there. And then we need another one that handles the end of it. So I'm just gonna copy this for now and ignore whatever codes inside of it and make this work. So stay and end. So if each of these occur, if usable object is on equal null, usable object dot you start, you stay, and then use end. And that should call the appropriate uh, methods for each of these, in which case we've now ended up back again in this class, which is our usable translate so on start I don't plan on necessarily doing anything what I do plan on doing is in the stay method which is handling translation although on start I should probably record the v not location that is where we actually clicked so let's do v not is equal to and we can do what vive input dot get instance dot get position get device position and that's going to end up being uni engine dot vr node but we need to know what node it is and that needs to be passed in here so this should be a what unity engine dot xr dot xr node device something like that 
or just node to keep with the um, same stuff. Now that means we need to pass that information in wherever we've actually called it. So over here, inside of our left controller, where we specified that method, the, well, actually no, in the use manager, where we specified this, it should happen over here. Let's move that over here. We'll grab this kind of object and we'll stick it in this. And I'm thinking we're gonna do it for all of them, probably, maybe. You know what, we should only do it for one for right now. So there we go, that's the node. So we grab the location of the node at that particular point, and we store that off in the V0. Now in use stay, we handle the fact that we stored V0 right here and modify the position of the object that we're dealing with. Now in use end, let's see, v naught should be equal to vive input dot, or actually, no, vector dot three dot zero. Let's just do that. Now I don't think we need this Boolean value for holding down because that's handled by the other class that we created. So let's come back over here and just see if we get any errors. And we got plenty of them, and that's because of how we changed the uh, use method. Now that it includes additional information beyond what was there before. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go into... Let's see. Usable translate and grab the void use start method there and just start going through here and pasting it into the places that it needs to be. So here's this one, save, save, save again, and you start, save, save, translates good. Now this needs the XR node, so let's use unity engine dot XR dot XR node dot and what is this right controller so right hand is what it should be using and you need to be replaced as well with node fan manager what do you need nothing and you need this okay Great. Come back over, see how many we cleared out. A lot of them are down to eight errors now. And start, save that, come back, seven. And this is all going to come down to our on starts. I'm telling you right now. Whoops. And what is that? Uh, Unity engine dot XR dot. Um, XR node, node. Sorry, I hit control C accidentally. So I lost what I was doing. So let's just copy that again so it makes my life a little bit easier. Hmm, why do I have two of these? There we are, that's better. Now usable, what's wrong with you? Oh, you don't have use sustained or use stay. That's the problem. All right, now we're done with you. Going back over here. Let's see. Yes, please save, you start. Let's paste that in there. Good to go. And you start, save. Do, 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 do. All right. Wait, what are you giving me crap for? Let's go to the other ones first. You're all giving me crap. Oh, no, it's on the other side. Sorry. So you start, um, dot right. I 
actually, you know what? I should be able to pass in the, no, I guess not. What am I in? I'm in use manager, which doesn't matter anymore anyway, but we're going to just let it live for now in case I got to come back because my brain made a huge problem and I didn't foresee this needing to actually be something I need to use. Okay, last one. On you start Vive controller left. So we want the, not the device tracker. We want the actual device for this, which is going to be the same thing. That's Unity Engine dot XR dot what is it? Is it VR node? Device dot No, it is node. And we're still in left, so left hand. There we go. Okay. I think we've fixed all that nonsense up and it only took 13 minutes. Let's move along. Okay, we've cleared that out. Everything should be working properly now with all the changes we made. Now we can go back over here and uh, just mentally make sure we've done the right thing before we test it. So we have not security door. Oh, we have way too many things open at this point. So I'm gonna right click and close all but this. And I'm gonna close that anyway. I'm going to close all the different methods. And all I care about right now is my interaction with the drawer, which is going to be usable translate. So use start occurs, we store our initial position. Then after that, use stay occurs, and we continually update what's happening. And then finally, use end occurs, and things are done. We're not doing anything else. So we're going to run this and just see whether or not things are actually working without errors popping up. And then we're going to handle all the non-error conditions, which I'm sure there are many of. All right, starting controllers. Getting headset going. Not logging into an HTC account, which is the most annoying thing ever. VR is ready. The... Lighthouses aren't because I disconnected them because it's been seven hours. So I got to turn the lighthouses back on. The reason for that is because they're only rated for, I think, 10,000 hours or something. And I'm worried about keeping them on for day after day because I'm not relatively rich. Um, I have VR stuff because it's my job, not because I'm rich. Anyway, let me turn on the rest of these. All right, it looks like all of the lighthouses are working properly, so I can begin getting ready for things. So put this on my head. Base station's lost optical sync. Let's dismiss that for a moment. Hands are right here. They're good. Headsets right there. They're good. Let's go ahead and start this. All right. Back out. And that all looks okay for the moment. So I'm trying to interact with the drawers, and of course nothing's happening. Wow, something just happened. Where did it go? There it is. Look at that. That's at the center of the origin. That means I'm not taking something into consideration. Okay, so let's jump back in and figure out why that happened. The good news is it happened. The bad news is it happened in a way we certainly don't want it to happen. So let's think about this. All right, so actually it turns out this is a little bit more complicated than I expected it to be. So what I'm gonna do is in a follow-up video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is I'm going to do to make this happen. And rather than have you watch potentially two hours of me futzing with something, I'm just gonna plan ahead code it out, make sure it works, and then show it to you. And what do I mean by making sure it works? Well, I've already got a good bit of it done. I'd say 75%. There's just a few bugs here and there that I need to deal with. At the moment, you click on one of the drawers. We have a custom inspector element for it, and you get this gizmo on it that allows you to choose the axis that you want to be able to move that object in, and then the uh, maximum value that you then want to move it in that direction. 
So here you can see the two different scripts that control most of this. And like I said, it's not completely finished, but as soon as I'm done, you will get to see it all in a future video. I'm going to release some other videos between then and now, obviously, because I'm not quite done with this, and I'm going to continue to work on other portions of this project. So as soon as it's done, I'll make sure I put it out there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you had a good time, and I'll see you next time.